It's week two of the NFL, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the 49ers and the Vikings, next on Madden Football. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers. The 49ers get ready to go on offense, and it's the Pro Bowler Brock Purdy at the helm in his third NFL season now out of Iowa State. And the great story of Brock Purdy continues. Had he been drafted in the first round, I think people would be singing his praises to the skies. But for Now Purdy. Touchdown 49ers! George Kittle, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Niners are on the board first here this afternoon. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee, that all the points they scored in opening weekend. Five. So here are the Vikings to go on offense for the first time, and it's a rookie at the helm, the 10th overall pick back in April out of Michigan, J.J. McCarthy. And I can't imagine that week one was anything except a whirlwind for this young man. A few bright spots. Brings up third and five. Throwing is McCarthy. That is caught. Room to maneuver at the 35. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Vikings are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're here for a second and goal. They'll try and power it in with Hughescheck. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Kyle Hughescheck. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. And that's why you have... Up the gut, McCaffrey. And running with power here. Touchdown, 49ers! Christian McCaffrey, 51 yards. And the 49ers go up by two touchdowns. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles could affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Touchdown! Debo Samuel from six yards away. And the Niners are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, I've heard you use the term put away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because they'll send one of those two tight ends in motion. McCaffrey diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So he's had a nose for the end zone here in the early part of this season. Two touchdowns for him now in this one to go along with the one he had in the opener as well. Yeah, he certainly finds where the goal line is and finds a way to get across. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.
So for San Francisco, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road date next week.